Welcome back to Tipping Point. I'm your host, Kara McKinney. Part of the Epstein client list was just released, and guess what? It clears President Trump. Turns out that the left liked keeping these documents sealed that they, so they could always try to vaguely connect President Trump and Jeffrey Epstein. But like the Russiagate hoax, there was never any there there. Because if there was, that would have leaked a very long time ago. Let's not kid ourselves. Instead, what we did know always cleared him, that Trump was one of the only New York socialites to cooperate with the original investigation into Epstein over 15 years ago, and that he kicked Epstein out of his Mar-a-Lago, Florida resort for allegedly hitting on an underage girl. So going back to these files, they were released on the order of Judge Loretta Preska of the Southern District of New York as part of a ruling last month in the defamation case of Ghislaine Maxwell by alleged Epstein victim Virginia Jufri. The documents were supposed to be released on New Year's Day, but some extra time was given for those who wanted the court to protect their names under anonymity. As not everyone in the files are guilty or accused of being guilty, just associates who may have known Epstein and still others who are victims who have not publicly come forward yet. This is one part, and this one part of the text is interesting as it shows one of the alleged victims of Epstein being questioned about Donald Trump, as we've been talking about. She replies, it's Jew Free, that she never saw Trump at Epstein's home, at his infamous island, at his ranch in New Mexico, where that creepy painting of Bill Clinton and Monica Lewinsky's blue dress hangs, or at his luxury apartment in New York. But you know who can't say the same? Bill Clinton, Prince Andrews, and many others. In fact, in one of the released depositions, an Epstein accuser explains what Epstein told her about Bill Clinton one time, that Clinton likes them young, referring to girls. Another name to come out of the, this document drop is billionaire Hyatt Hotels executive chairman Thomas Pritzker. Virginia Jufri alleges that she was made to have sex with Pritzker. The name might sound familiar to you because, as friend of the show Greg Price mentions, his cousin is Penny Pritzker, chairwoman of Harvard's board, where Jeffrey Epstein had his own private office for over a decade. And you know who Penny's brother is? J.B. Pritzker, the governor of Illinois. What a small world. Other names to pop up include Michael Jackson, magician David Copperfield, and the late British theoretical physicist and cosmologist Stephen Hawking. And remember, that doesn't mean that all these names are of people who are accused of doing anything wrong or of knowing there was wrong going on, just that Jufri claims to have seen them with Epstein at one of his locations. Joining us now to discuss is Chrissy Mayer, a stand-up comedian and podcast host who is in San Diego this week, ahead of her upcoming performance on Saturday in Mic Drop Comedy, where she will host her show live from January 6th. Chrissy, thanks for being here tonight. It's great to be here, Kara. And I am very curious to know why didn't David Copperfield just make all of this disappear? <laughs> if he was really the magician he says he is, and I think as far as Stephen Hawking's involvement goes, uh, I know you got to have that one friend who's got the handicapped parking pass. And I think for Epstein, Stephen Hawking was that person. No, I, I know it's one of those things that maybe people say, oh, well, you can't joke about these topics. But at the same time, if we don't laugh about it, we'd, we'd be crying about it. And where's, you know, how's that going to make anything better at this point? So I think through comedy, a lot of times, a lot of truths and uncomfortable truths are able to be brought to the surface and actually talked about. So do you kind of see that as one of the important pillars of comedy as you do it? Absolutely, and I think Kara, for just today, with all these uh, Epstein uh, facts coming to light, I think you should have changed the name of your show to Just the Tipping Point, uh, just for the occasion. No, you have to laugh about it. This uh, th this stuff is, and, and the deeper you look into, especially everything going on with Epstein and the island, it's it can black pill you pretty quickly. It can make you very cynical and. It, it, a lot of this stuff is very dark and you begin to wonder like my gosh is there anybody in charge of anything anywhere that's not <laughs> engaging in these activities and i i think I'm, I'm looking forward to watching the celebrities work with their pr teams and try to spin this to oh well i only went to epstein island you know they're going to make it like an invitation to the Met Gala. They're going to use it as like a bougie <laughs> status symbol. They're like, oh, I only went for the swag bag or I only went for the food. So it'll be interesting to see how this is all pivoted in the coming months. 